make your travel life easier by not doing any of the things we're about to discuss. Welcome to Mojo Travels, and today we're counting down our picks for the biggest red flags that will get you stopped by the TSA. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Mojo Travels and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at various common and not so common mistakes people make when going through airport security that can result in additional screenings, interrogation, or even fines and detainment. Being visibly stressed out. We get it, flying is an inherently stressful experience for many people, especially going through security, where one wrong move can bring your travel plans to a screeching halt. Then there's the reality of hurtling through the air at hundreds of miles an hour that can put you on edge. Maybe you're traveling to visit a sick relative or for an important business meeting. There are a million excuses to feel nervous when passing through a TSA checkpoint, but these don't matter to security. All the TSA agent sees is a traveler who seems nervous and visibly uncomfortable, and it's their job to at least entertain the possibility that you could be nervous for the worst possible reasons. Being critical of TSA staff. TSA agents have been charged with the particularly unenviable task of moving thousands upon thousands of busy people through security checkpoints in an orderly manner, while also attending to their due diligence in identifying potential threats. So the last thing they're in the mood for is a lecture or bad attitude. This isn't a big box store or a restaurant. While the customer might always be right, a passenger is better off saving their opinions for an online review after the fact. You might feel that the TSA is nothing but security theater, but undermining their authority in public just makes you the perfect candidate for a demonstration of their authority. Rolling in with a ton of cash. When you're filling out the paperwork for customs, there's a line informing passengers that if you have over $10,000 in cash, you must declare it. For the average traveler, this is a total non-issue. But who knows, maybe you're coming home from visiting family and you were just surprised with a cash inheritance from a relative, or maybe you had a destination wedding and you received a lot of cash gifts. Either way, count it before going through customs, because if you fail to declare it, that is a major red flag, and you're in for a lengthy interrogation to get to the bottom of why you were concealing a large sum of money. And for the record, even under $10,000, any unusually large stack of cash is ill-advised, as it is nonetheless enough to raise eyebrows. Bringing up weapons. This one might seem like a no-brainer, but you'd be surprised as to just how many people have gotten themselves in trouble by not watching what they say. Whether you're standing in line chatting with a fellow passenger, or when you're actually being questioned by a TSA agent, it's best to keep your interest in firearms, knives, explosives, and other such eyebrow-raising items to yourself. Agents are trained to be on the lookout for any and all suspicious activity, and the very fact that you're so cavalier about expressing interest in items that are largely forbidden on airplanes is sure to get you taken aside. Traveling with coffee. If our previous entry is just about the most obvious thing to avoid when going through airport security, this is perhaps the least. Coffee is an incredibly common but also highly regional product, making it a popular souvenir or gift for people to bring home with them from a foreign land. What far too few travelers realize is that it's also employed by smugglers and criminals to try to mask the smell of various contraband substances. You likely just want to bring a selection of your favorite beans home or abroad with you, but TSA agents, again, have no choice but to assume the worst. And so you should know that the added cost of traveling with coffee is a more rigorous search of your bags. Not taking out all your liquids. We know, we know, it's a freaking water bottle. What's the harm? Of all the TSA regulations that get on people's nerves, this is the one that's arguably the most infuriating. You've just bought yourself something to drink and you have to throw it out and then buy a replacement at an overpriced shop on the other side of security. But when you stow that bottle of water at the bottom of your bag in the hopes they overlook it, you come across as a traveler with something to hide. And the contents of that water bottle suddenly become suspect. Same goes for smaller containers of liquid like makeup that you genuinely forget to take out at security. By the time the TSA agent has found them, you've already become a person of interest. Making inappropriate jokes. The amount of airport security we have to go through in the modern age can often feel laughably excessive, especially considering the TSA has not to date ever foiled a major terrorist plot, or at least not one that's been widely reported. That being said, there's no denying the added sense of security these measures provide, and that's what's really at the heart of the matter. Airport security is a deterrent. If you want to see just how committed they are to that mandate, you can go ahead and make an ill-timed terrorist or bomb joke while in line. 
the TSA understandably takes such matters extremely seriously, and a joke that makes light of passenger safety or security will almost certainly earn you a thorough and invasive interrogation. Trying to sneak something in TSA rules can be a real headache and inconvenience. While you might find some of their regulations and guidelines to be totally pointless, they're all in place for a reason. And when you choose to prioritize your personal comfort or convenience over their clear instructions, you become a problematic passenger. Yes, removing your jewelry or belt might be inconvenient, but trust us, getting pulled aside for additional screening will take far more time. Same goes for not taking your laptop out of your bag. Sure, you might slip through, but the more you push the limits, the more likely you are to eventually wind up facing major consequences. It might just be a laptop, but depending on the TSA agent, it can be a sign of a larger pattern of willful deception. Traveling with unique or peculiar items. Are you a techie who always has the coolest, most cutting edge technology? That's great, but maybe leave it at home. Chances are that if you have to give a detailed explanation as to what a specific item is or does, the TSA isn't gonna like it. And if its usefulness or purpose can't be demonstrated on the spot, you might have no choice but to leave it with them or miss getting on the plane. That being said, it doesn't even need to be high tech to get flagged. Anything that's uncommon raises two questions. First, why do you need to have this with you on the plane? And second, what sinister secondary purpose could this possibly serve? Whatever the item, it's often probably not worth the risk. Not having appropriate documentation. It's always worthwhile to double check that you have all of your identification essentials. Yes, you clearly remember putting your passport in your breast pocket, your flight details are on your phone, and your wallet is always in your back left pocket or purse. But still, double check all of the above. If you're traveling with essential medication, it is similarly crucial that it be in clearly labeled containers that identify what it is and that they were officially prescribed to you. If not, the TSA is left to guess about the plastic container or sandwich bag of assorted pills, and you can bet that their assumptions won't work out in your favor. If you're missing any of these essential documents, including personal ID, you might not be making your flight. So play it safe and avoid the heartache. Check out this other recent clip from Mojo Travels, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.